well we're gonna look at a okay guys as a basic introduction um, um, you need to always be vigilant and don't overcomplicate uh, money cash flow and your calculations is very simple it's your cost minus your um, uh, your income minus your costs uh, with your money in or money out so it's a very simple analogy that um, you should always be in mind don't overcompensate uh, or, or complicate um, uh, this um, this calculation it's all uh, it's all about costs so firstly we look at cost and it costs is basically your money out so it's salaries wages general costs merchants supplies etc and control must be exercised over your creditors to whom money is owed by um, checking checking invoices carefully making sure that the goods or services have been supplied and not paying the account sorry too early Secondly, we look at value. Value is the amount of work that you've done or that you can invoice for. So, value is money in. The value of work carried out as certified, usually based on the quantity surveyor's interim valuation. Okay, then cost control must be exercised over your debitors from whom money is owe, owing the maximum cash flow to get that. Uh, your value excludes the value of work in progress were carried out which has not been invoiced yet okay so please bear that in mind we're going to look at um, um, for instance your um, retention and those items as well then we're getting to cash flow cash flow is very simply the difference between the money in and the money out sufficient working capital must be available to avoid over trading taking on too much work with insufficient liquid funds and liquidity pro uh, will lead to liqui liquidity problems okay so firstly reporting your pr uh, procedures uh, a realistic budget is needed that's always the challenge then mon monitor uh, monitoring is an essential part of the process as the organization grows so does the importance of the financial reports financial control systems it's the Pareto principle applies here um, where um, usually 80% of your cost lies within 20% of your items. So if you manage 20% of your items uh, very well, you can uh, manage 80% of your cost very well. Thus, uh, these items have to be managed well. Okay. Monthly cash flow reporting. So this is what we're going to look at. We're going to look at your monthly cash flow report. Is basically you've got your inputs, uh, you've prepared your budget. You've got your value and you've got your cost. Uh, reconciled value at, re at the reconciliation date, reconciled cost at the reconciliation date. So you analyze it, you cumulative and mo monthly position, you either have a, a profit or loss, your cost report, tubular graphical formats report to your management. So it's basically in and out report. So we're not going to look at that too, in too much depth because uh, that is done in um, CFNR extensively. So, but we're just going to look at a, an example. Uh, your monthly cash flow report may look something like this. So for month uh, one, you have your certified value. That's the amount of work certified. Your, your reconciliation um, value. Your cumulative costs. And then um, your cumulative profit is actually um, your uh, 29,000 minus your cumulative cost is um, 4,000. And then your percentage that you're actually in is 16%. So it's 29 minus your, um, your value of work that you've done and then your uh, profit just note that there's a bit of a, um, a subtraction here for your certified value it's just a retention that 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 they've got here okay so please just note that so very simply you um you just do your math and you calculate each month what your profit and um your um um, inflow and outflow is okay and then from there you can just extrapolate that to get a uh, forecasted value um, as well so you can compare your um, uh, 
forecast against your actual okay so this is just a bit of an introduction don't worry too much about this we, we're going to focus on an example just now so these um, graphs you guys should know by now it's very um, straightforward you've been um, shown this um, extensively but basically you've got your um, value of work so you um, you've got your cumulative value forecast so this is what you think uh, your your cash flow or your value of work will be and then you've got your actual reconciled cost uh, which is now the green value green line and then you've got your actual reconciled cost so your cost is just that one there so this is your actual profit um, release that you've got okay and then you've got your actual value so this is your value variance the client is very interested in that and uh, then your time variance the client is also very interested in that the client is not interested in this your actual profit um, release um, because that is for you as the contractor the contract or the client is interested in that up to the point of whether you can continue with the work or not okay so obviously you have a shortfall of budget forecast with actual value but then the, uh, the next graph just shows value of time forecast time relationship so um, it just gives you the actual um, you can do the same cumulative value for time this is not that important it's just basically a duplication of what was um, done in in this one okay so take only note uh, then there's uh, these examples here just take note of your profit uh, release um, graphs and then you have your month monthly release here so all it basically says is it shows you profit cumulative profit your uh, percentage on that so it basically just shows you that um, <clears throat> you had a good profit margin and then it just slowly ta tapers down from the cumulative profits and then you um, a percentage now <clears throat> on what you actually um, wanted to to have so it just shows you um, that uh, you can just calculate that your profits were well or good in the beginning and then you just taper down um, but obviously you probably had more costs and that type of thing these graphs is very um, helpful when you're planning for new projects when you want to evaluate your completed projects and uh, look forward so but please this is not that important uh, just take note this is quite handy when you guys get into a firm and you have multiple portfolios and you want to have a look at your uh, percentage profit release okay so getting into our actual example so this is the one that we did in the workshop and the other day so it's a very simple example but i want you guys to be able to do this i'm just going to page to uh, to that example so it gives you a, a scenario of um of a contract value of a uh, position so you have your cumulative value forecast and then you've got your um, um, for cumulative value that you forecast for the project and you then you have your actual uh, value just note this is value yeah. sorry guys this is value Ugh. part of my writing but this thing doesn't really allow um for writing but the, um this is not said so uh, it just helps with that so um this is actual just value and then they have the uh, cumulative costs so i'll get typically give you a scenario like this and then you must be able to calculate the value variance and the profit variance and the value variance is very simple you've got your um, cumulative value minus your um cumulative or your actual cumulative so you've got your forecast minus your actual and it gives you a, a difference of eight um eight thousand rand and or pounds in this case and then your um 
profit variance is very simply your actual income or cumulative value minus your actual cost, which is 2000 Okay, so you do that's for month one. You do the same for month two, for month three, and very simply you go onto your um, little grid line that one that I'll usually supply or you can draw your own and then you just plot your cumulative value on here okay so uh, your forecast value so this is the first graph that you um, put on okay so it's your 30 your 90 your 140 and your 180 according to the duration here at the bottom Okay, and then you put your actual uh, value in this dotted line here. Okay, also according to month one, you had an expenditure of uh, 22,000. And then you've got your um, month, oh, um, month two, you had a value of 65,000, your actual value. And month three, you had an actual value of 100,000. Okay, so from this graph, you can actually calculate your value variance, which was 40,000 at month three, and your time var um, variance was approximately two we uh, three weeks, uh, very simply calculated by drawing in the grid lines from your, um, your actual um, value to your planned value and taking it down to your... Um, where it cuts your um, your graph and you can see that's approximately one week with three weeks on this side so it's approximately three weeks behind okay and I'll give you guys that scenario again that one um, that you guys did in class for me uh, and then um, I, I would expect you guys to be able to do uh, this and calculate those items Okay, guys, thanks. I think that's um, more or less um, for this chapter, what I wanted to discuss. Um, like I said, uh, like always, mail me if you have any questions or do not hesitate to contact me uh, in the morning hours. Thank you. Bye.